Hey guys, let us update my Kindle Paperwhite 3 or the 7th generation Kindle Paperwhite which is released in 2015 to its latest software update. Okay, I'll tell you the reason why but before we proceed let's uh, let's find out um, what your Kindle or my Kindle is running right now. How we do that is go to this three buttons and this is the home screen, right? And go to the three, uh, three dotted ellipses right there and then go into settings and then you find device options, click on device options and then go to device info and then check which firmware version is running right now, 5.13.2. Now let me tell you a background on why I want to update this. Amazon has find, found out um, that 5.13.2 as well as any other version before that along with this version is vulnerable. Um, to a send to Kindle, uh, through the send to Kindle option, uh, there is a vulnerability uh, that they have discovered. So that's the reason you need to update your Kindle ASAP to the next version of the software, which is 5.13.4. To do that, you need to get into the, when you are on the device info page, click on the ellipsis again, and then see there is an option here called update your Kindle. So now my Kindle has not been registered for an OTA update yet. How do I know that? Because this is showing as grayed out. It's not available. So what I need to do is there is another option uh, to get my Kindle up to date without Amazon pushing an over the air update to me, which is downloading that up, um, you know, downloading the file um, for the latest firmware, putting it into my Kindle and then updating it via manual push. So let's do that. For us to do that, we need to get to your favorite browser and your favorite search engine, mine's Google, and then look for Kindle e-reader software updates. As you can see, these are the search results that are, that are returned. Now, I'll go with the first one. Kindle help, uh, sorry, Amazon.com Amazon help, Kindle e-reader software updates. I'm opening it in a new tab. Now you see all the items are listed here. Now what I need is Paperwhite. So Kindle Paperwhite 7 generation. The current version is 5.13.4. If you remember in the video earlier, it was 5.13.2 it was showing in my Kindle. So now I just need to click on download software update. It will start downloading. If you see in the bottom here, update Kindle. So there's a bin file that's being downloaded. It will be in your downloads uh, folder. Once it's done downloading, I'll access it. It's around 235 MB. It's just finished downloading. Now, go to the browser on your computer and go to the downloads, you know, downloads, wherever your downloads are. You see, this is the file. Update underscore Kindle underscore all underscore new underscore paperwhite underscore 5.13.4. Okay, it's a bin file. So this is this is the file that I would copy into my Kindle. I'll show you how. Now, connect the USB cable of your Kindle to the computer. And then the other end with the micro USB connected to your Kindle. Once you do that, your Kindle will show the USB drive mode. If you have a screen lock, you need to do that first. Uh, my lock was already open. That's the reason it directly went into the USB drive mode. As soon as you connect, your Kindle opens up on your computer like this. Kindle, uh, G drive. Probably the flash is distracting us. Let's turn it off. Okay. So Kindle is in the G drive, um, drive info, caliber, all this thing, right? This is the root of your Kindle. So this is where you will paste your downloaded file. You just need to copy it. Go back to Kindle. Paste it here. Now it's copying. So you need to check how much space you have left in your Kindle as well because 
my Kindle had more than one GB left, that's the reason I'm able to paste it here. Otherwise, uh, you will have to, you know, uh, remove some information from your Kindle or some books and then make space for that. Um, approximately around 250 MB because there's a 235 MB file. Um, and then once you're done with the update, you can remove this file. I don't know if the Kindle automatically removes it or you need to remove it yourself, but I will cover that as well. So you need to remove that file and then uh, you, you can reload your books that you have removed for now. Now the upload of the file is complete. So what I'll do is I will eject the Kindle like I do any other USB. Eject device. Now it's ejected. And what I'll do is if you see the earlier screen, which were, it got refreshed from uh, from the earlier screen, which was connect uh, showing the we have connected it to the computer to the normal screen again. Now you go to the ellipsis. You see update your Kindle available now. You click on it, and then do you wish to continue? Okay. Now the process has begun. While it's in process progress, I'll just. You know take this off it's just that once it updates uh, it shouldn't think that i'm connecting it to the computer again and by the way uh, by the way once this is done updating i will connect it to the computer again and then see if our bin file is still existing in the kindle or kindle discards it if it is still existing then i will remove it manually just a sneak peek meanwhile software update kindle software is updating this might take a long time. I'll tell you how much. Still in progress. I started a stopwatch half a minute at least late. So it's one and a half minutes. It's, it went almost like 60%. So it's basically two minutes for 60%. Um, it has finished. So I'll stop the stopwatch here. It's uh, two and a half minutes. So it's taken a total of three minutes. Now. The Kindle is starting up. So there you go, it's starting up right in front of you. I prematurely stopped the stopwatch. It's still, you know, undergoing some kind of progress update right there. So reserve a good five minutes for this process to complete, okay? Now I have restarted the device. I mean, it, the device restarted by itself. So let's go and check my current version because that's the that's the culmination of this effort right device options device info 5.13.4 successful update done so this is a vulnerability free uh, OTA uh, sorry not OTA uh, software version so you should get this as well I recommend it okay and now for the last step to see if the bin file is still existing here, then we can remove it. I'm going to connect it to the computer. As soon as you connect it to the computer, USB drive mode is activated and then the folder launches. If it's not, then go to uh, my computer or, you know, my computer and then go to Kindle. You see that I have pasted the bin file earlier. That bin file has been removed. So. Kindle does it by itself. You need not do it. Uh, so you need not reconnect uh, your computer after you uh, did your update to get rid of the file. Thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and update to the vulnerability free version like I did. Enjoy your Kindle and your reading. Thanks. Bye.